Its residents saw the death as a model of coexistence in a region torn by hatred. Jews, Arabs, Muslims and Christians, they say, live peacefully together. Not always. The Maxim restaurant is being rebuilt. Last month it was blown up by a suicide bomber from the West Bank. 21 people were killed. The owners are determined to get spoken again soon, but know the future is uncertain. Doctor, we see in the same situation, it's very hard, the feeling is very, very hard to work for the, the place where our families, where our friends and uh, our workers work here, very hard. One word you keep hearing in Haifa and across Israel is the situation. That single word refers to everything to do with politics, the economy and security. While some people are determined to be optimistic, most people agree that the situation is bad and at the moment there's not much chance of it getting better. The sun is getting worse. This soup kitchen called A Helping Hand to a Friend opened three years ago. It feeds those whose prospects of making a living have all but disappeared. In the last 12 months, there have been more and more of them. <coughs> Bill Friedman, a professor of English literature, is one of the volunteers. He says the people of Haifa are in despair. So the mood is just very, very low, very dark, very gloomy. And I felt that for sure. There were people just shaking their heads and not knowing what to do. And so on the demonstrations they seem to do, we just don't really know where to go and what to do to change the situation, or if it can be changed. We don't know that even if they were moving on our side, if there would be sufficient movement on the other side. The only you have is Haifa's mayor. His task is to keep the people happy in tough times. Mr. Yahav says that the bomb at the Maxim restaurant shocked the whole city. He remains upbeat, arguing that you have 